Charles Tully is the end of the Steelers. We'll put the franchise tag on him for a second year in a row. The tag would mean just over $14 million for Bell, but he's looking for a long-term deal. In January, he said he would think about retiring if he was tagged again, <laughs> but he tweeted yesterday that he wants to be a Steeler for the rest of his career. Bell added, we're not coming to a number we both agree on. They are too low, or I guess the deal I'm too high. I'm playing strictly for my value to the team. That's what I'm asking. I don't think I should settle for anything less than what I'm valued at. Joined once again by Eric Dickerson. Um, he doesn't think that Le'Veon is retiring, obviously. Uh, really? <laughs> are you surprised Pittsburgh hasn't given him a long-term deal? Well, yes, yes, I am. I mean, is he worth it? Yes, he is. I mean, he is a really an X factor for that football team. I think as, as Le'Veon Bell goes, pretty much the Steelers go, and Antonio Brown. I mean, you're talking about a guy who has done it pretty consistently for a while. And I think one thing is you'll find the Steelers are not going to overpay you, but I think they're going to pay you what they think is fair. Now, $14 million opposed to zero retiring, that don't even make sense. I mean, <laughs> come on. I, you want the $14 million or the zero? Ah, okay, I'll take the 14 million. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, he, he's not going to retire. Um, I think that what he wants is a, a long-term deal. I think you, it's, I think all the players, you know, as, as NFL players, they want that signing bonus. They want that security blanket, mm -hmm. that that 25 or 30 million dollars up front. And and you can't blame them for that because you know as you get later in your career, that seventh and eighth year, pretty much they're starting to look around to get rid of you. But so, you get close to 30. You, yeah, when you go, you get 30, you pretty much it's over. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't care if you have 1,000 yards, you just pretty much it's, yep. it's, it's over. They, they think it's over for you. But for sure, he's worth the money. I mean, if it's if it's 16 and a half, I mean, what would I pay him if I was the general manager? It's, it's 14, I think it's 14, 5 he's at right now. I would give him, I'd give him 16. I mean, you would? I, yeah. I'd, give him, I'd give him 16. Yeah, I'd give him 16, mm -hmm. you know, and 15, 5, 16, somewhere around there. We, we would sell somewhere around there for sure. Mm. No, yeah. I'm not surprised. You know why I'm not surprised? His injury history and his suspension. Yep. Remember now, he's been suspended twice. He has. Remember, he's missed two playoff games because of injury. Mm -hmm. So I would rather pay. And, I, and this is not a knock on him because he's worth, he's worth every bit. I believe he's the most complete back in football. But I'm not surprised the Steelers because they know his history. So it's like, I can't. So we like, we're going to hedge our bets. It might hurt our cap. Because that's $14.5 million counting against our cap this year as opposed to giving you that big bonus mm -hmm. and then we prorating out over the life of the contract. But I secure myself. What good is, you know, you being suspended, you being injured? So that's what the Steelers are doing. So I'm not surprised. Is he worth, you know, $13 million? Adrian Peterson got the outlier contract. He got $12 million mm -hmm. way back when. Mm -hmm. And no, no running back has, has approached that number since. Yeah. So Le'Veon Bell says at some point – we. Let's, that's the starting point. If they can get to, say, $30 million, $35 million over the first three years, in the first two years, yep. now would be in to doing something. But I see it from the Steelers' perspective, Skip. His injury history, and he's been suspended twice through his own actions. Mm -hmm. If that sounds like somebody that they should trust wholeheartedly, we know what type of player he is, but we also know some of the things that he's done to call, the run a file with the NFL. <sighs> You both make strong points. And Le'Veon, in this article that just was posted this morning on ESPN.com, makes strong points in his favor. And I'm conflicted about it. I've had my issues, as we know, with Le'Veon, but I'm trying to be completely objective because the case that he makes is a strong one. Now, the running back market right now says that the highest paid running back is Devontae Freeman at 8.25. So I'm sure the Steelers are throwing that back in his face. Right. We're going to go to 16 when, when the – the next highest paid is 8.25, but Le'Veon's case is a strong one because right now his combined yards average per game is 128.9. That's the best since the merger in 1970, so I can't take that away from I can't right. discount that at all. And he is making the case that he plays the role of three backs because he's an every down back, and he considers himself the second best receiver on the football team. So you can split him out right. as a number two type receiver. Right. And he considers himself an elite pass blocker. So you can play him every down if you just want to protect right. Ben. So that helps. And there's that stat. The Steelers are undefeated when he gets 25 or more carries. That's strong, man. I mean, that's hard to argue right. with, right? That's a case. 
and he makes the case for his longevity because he says he plays more with his mind than his athleticism, and he does drive me a little crazy sometimes tiptoeing <laughs> because E.D. did not tiptoe like that. Hit E.D. Hole. hit the hole hard, and a lot of times he made his own holes, and if there was a hole, he was gone. But you know how Le'Veon, he... Oh yeah, he, does, means, he looks. He nah, but, waits. I but, might go here. But, but, but you know, oh, I think I'll go over there. But, but that's what the, that's what they're used to. I mean, that, the, the, it's like when you get into a system. Yeah. Your offensive line knows you. Like like my guys with the Rams, I would tell them, just give me a split second. That's all I need. You ain't got to block him. Just give just give me a split second. Le'Veon, he 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 he, and, and the line knows that. I mean, they knows the kind of runner he is. I mean, it's like. When the Rams played the NFC Championship game in 1989, they played the San Francisco 49ers, mm -hmm. and they got beat by the Niners. I won't forget Jackie Slater said, coming back from that game, he said, John Robson said, if we'd had one guy, we'd have won this game. And he said, I want to hear him say it, if we'd had 29, mm. me. So I think the same thing here. If they take Le'Veon Bell away from this football team, you could put somebody else back there for sure, but you're not going to get the same productivity because mm – -hmm. All of a sudden, the line has to start all over again. It's like a quarter receiver. I mean, I, I got—I don't know this receiver. I got to—I got to work with him. And it's so important for the offensive line mm -hmm. and the running backs to work together. Like, okay, I know this tackle is good at pulling. I know he's not good at the point of attack, but he's better. So I'm gonna look here, but you know, I'm probably gonna end up back here. So for sure, you know, you you could tilly tally around with with not paying him or a franchise tag, and which hey, fourteen million dollars is fourteen million dollars. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take the five. I think I think I'll, I'll think take the five hundred thousand. I'm trying to get twelve million. I can see twelve million annually. I don't see him getting almost double what the highest paid running back is going to get paid. I don't see that. But 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 you know, you are talking about Devo Devontae Freeman. He is. Man, he's way. I mean, uh, he I, don't don't get me wrong. And, you, he, split, and you, he split time at, with Kevin. Yeah, Coleman. you look at the numbers, but but you got to see what he does. He's not a Devonte free. He's he's twice. He's, he's twice the player here. I can see, I can he see really twelve is. million annually, Ed. Man, you know, I mean, hey, you you. I, I say this much here. Uh, the value of him, you said it. When it, he carries the ball over twenty five times, the Steelers win. But, but you think about it. And, and I wait. I, and I and I get your point. I get you and, and I take this point. In. I think if if he hadn't had. The, the drug the suspension, mm -hmm. uh, any suspension. If, if he was, say, the guy that had got no trouble at all, at all. Makes it easier. Does it? Make, but, but would they say, okay, we'll do it? I would say, they would probably say, okay, you know, maybe, maybe not. So th I don't think that even comes into effect. I mean, they, think about it now. He's at the end of his contract. They gave, they gave Anto Antonio Brown the highest. Mm -hmm. Antonio Brown doesn't miss games. Antonio Brown has not run a foul with the NFL. No. Nope. Now nope. here's the thing. Now we, they have a top five quarterback. They have a top one running back and a top one two receiver. What's it gotten over the last three years? Who are you talking about? Who's gotten over the last three? Pittsburgh. Years? What has it gotten them? Oh, what's, what's it, it gotten, gotten them? What they got Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. They got Antonio Brown. They got Le'Veon Bell. Well, I'm gonna say that the top five quarterback has really not played like a top five quarterback. He struggled. I mean, he's had, he's his you, games you, are like this. It's, 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 and and, they, and the, the one stumbling block has been. The Patriots. I mean, well, seriously. Well, well, so, so, but, it's, but it, you can't. What are we paying for now? Well, I, what I, but you, so, the quarterback really, so your quarterback should really get you over the hump. But you got your back. He's doing his job. I'm doing my job. Well, I know what the quarterback is like, like, like the saying, I got my man. That quarterback, the quarterback is one. He's, the quarterback goes in the office and says, hold on now. I want a Super Bowl with Heinz Ward. I want a Super Bowl with uh, 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 Antoine Randall I want a Super Bowl with San Antonio, San Antonio Home. Mm -hmm. Willie Parker, Jerome Betters now. So y'all see y'all better than them too, right? But, but, y'all better than but, them? But, but at that first thing they said, well, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. Forget that. What have you done for me lately? So you, you who, who, I mean, other than other than Aaron Rodgers and, and, and Tom Brady, who are you taking over Big Ben? You know what? It's, it's going to be a short. I, I, honestly, I would take, I'd take Dak. Well, get leave. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's the smartest thing I've ever on this I'm show. You. I agree with yeah, you. I would you. take that. I, I would give take that. Give me a good, a, you can't say a good thing. I, 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 I would take Carson Wentz. And I'll take that. If you ask me, that's, hey, that's my opinion. Wait a second. Ben Roethlisberger lost a playoff game to Tim Tebow. Am yeah, I right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tim Tebow? Tom Brady lost the Super Bowl to Nick Foles. He, he lost a playoff minute, game to minute. Mark Sanchez. Got to amend what you just said. What? Bill Belichick, Belichick. lost. Don't do that, Bill. Don't do that. <laughs> Bill Belichick gave up 41 points to Nick Foles well, how many while points? keeping Malcolm Butler on the sideline for the whole game. Are you Still kidding me? See what you do. I'm not doing well, how many, anything. How many, I'm just how telling how you many the point, fact. How many points did the Steelers defense, they were number one at the time, give up to Tim Tebow? He threw for three over 300 yards. 
Well, I got Tom Brady through for 500 yards. I mean, that's a, almost a perfect game, and you still lost. No, 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 no. Come one, one, one innocent. One, one oh, turnover, one turnover, one turnover. oh, oh. Is it almost a perfect game? It's almost a perfect game. For an all-time playoff record in any game. In any game. It, it took the, it, my restaurant open. Well, I was, was going to have my restaurant <laughs> open late that night because I expected Tom and his family to come in. So you expect I didn't. him to play safety? You were I, the only one. I, thank on. you. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question, Skip? Yeah. What about those first four possessions? Why didn't he get the ball in the end zone? He never has. He's never scored well, a touchdown in the first quarter what, of any what Super Bowl. They got nothing to do with me. The Steelers and Le'Veon have until July 15th. Oh, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. On, on my 50th birthday, I'm going to blow the doors off. I would tell you I would tell you the pieces. You asking for it. Very I want this. interesting Instagram video on Sunday, and we'll discuss that next. You asked for it.